I do get I, 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 that love that you feel, holy shit. That's what's, I think that's why I don't want kids is because I'm actually scared of that love. Loving something that much terrifies me. That's so brave that you took that on. If you're a parent, you put your entire life into the hands of a toddler who's like, traffic, just like, what the fuck? Like, <laughs> do you also free solo climb? Like, that's crazy that you did that. That's so risky. Cause I, I mean, I'm almost mad at my sister for having kids because uh, the way I feel about my niece and nephew, like if anything ever happened to them, like I would, I'd be okay. Like I'd be okay eventually. <laughs> like at first it would be the worst. Oh, it'd be awful. But then like a Taylor Swift album would come out. Like I would kind of like rebound. I would have moments of like, I'm back to my old self, but my sister, no Taylor Swift will get her out of that, you know? It's over for her if something happens. That's extremely risky. That's really impressive to me to take on that. I think it's just, I look at being a mom and I think it's too hard to be a mom for me. I just, actually, no, it's not hard to be a mom. It's hard to be a good mom. That's, it's easy to be a bad mom. That's so easy. But to be a good mom is hard. To be a bad mom, that's as easy as being a great dad. That's, that's what that is. <laughs> yeah. It's a cakewalk, you know it. It's not your fault, it's just the way it is. And I know there are some dads that do just as much as moms, and it's because your wife is dead. Um, that's probably why. Otherwise, it doesn't happen. But some people just know, man. Some moms just know, I always knew I would be a mom. That's what they say. I always knew I would be a mom. They have to say it with that ethereal, breathy, <laughs> condescending tone. You struggle with this decision? I always knew I'd be a mom. Wow, I always knew I'd mute you on Instagram. They're like, I'm a mom, I'm a mom, I'm a mama bear, I'm a mom, mom, mom. Why do you have to say it like that? Just say, I'm a, I'm a mom. Like, you don't have to go, mom. Mm, 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 mm. I wish you could taste how good it feels to be a mom. Mm, 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 mm. Like, swallow the mom. Mm, mm. Like, I wish you would have swallowed your husband's load because this persona that you've adopted, it's insufferable. <laughs> I think some moms think that if you don't have kids, you're a selfish person. And I get that. I think it's a little selfish of me to not want kids, but I'll admit it, yeah. I just don't feel like devoting my free time to something that could marry a DJ. I just think that's <laughs> reckless. <laughs> and I know that there are moms that are like, I'm just not as self-obsessed anymore. It's just not about me anymore. And I'm like, yeah, we can tell. Your hair looks like you always rubbed a balloon on it. Like, <laughs> you dress like you work in a toll booth. I get it that you don't work on you anymore, but you focus on your child. That's an extension of you. Having a kid doesn't make you just a selfless person suddenly. I don't see women becoming moms and going, I'm gonna go volunteer in a soup kitchen. I'm gonna go build a home in Honduras. No, you're just feeding Cheerios to something that looks like you. Like that. <laughs> Thank you for doing that. It's a noble job, but you're treating a problem that you cause. Like this wouldn't be here if you didn't have it. It's hard work, but you signed up for it, you know? And you can't be like, I pick up litter. And it's like, yeah, but you threw it there. Like this isn't. <laughs> I don't think your kids are trash, but that's not what I meant. I don't, I'm so grateful that you have them because we need kids. We need future people to save us from the state the world is in right now. Um, it, I don't know if you noticed, it's kind of, it's kind of ending. <laughs> Things are coming to a close. And uh, yeah, maybe you didn't notice if you had kids, because why would you do that? I mean, <laughs> your kid's gonna graduate high school in a bunker, but that's fine. I mean, I'm sure your kid will be just fine in the water wars. I'm sure, yeah. <laughs> your, kid, your kid who won't eat a turkey slice, because it touched a pig! He'll be fine eating canned beans for decades in a hole in the ground. That's Finley with a GH is gonna do just, <laughs> just fine scavenging for drinking water in ammunition craters, whatever we have to do. He's gonna be great. No, if anyone saves us, it's gonna be your kid. You know, we need someone to save us. And if someone saves us, it'll be your, well, not your kid, no offense, but. You paid money to see a comedian who mostly talks about her pussy, so I just don't think that your kid, neither would mine. <laughs> and I will talk about my pussy. I just wanna let you know, the night is young. My pussy is old, you'll hear about it. But yeah, Greta Thunberg's parents aren't here tonight, I'm sorry. <laughs> 
our kids would not save the world. You know that. I mean, they might bully the kid who would save the world. <laughs> And then that kid won't save the world because our kid called them gay on Facebook. So, I mean, <laughs> it's okay. It's, uh, having kids is smart, actually. It actually is the smart thing to do. You're wise to do it. Because someday you're going to get old and no one is going to care about you anymore. All right? But if you have kids, someone might. <laughs> they might. You might get lucky. It's gonna be your kid, right? Having a son or daughter is just having a future person who's like, yeah, I gotta go see dad later. Ugh. Yeah, I need to get some more Vicodin. So yeah, Ugh. gotta go check in on him at the home. Yeah, I hear he's calling the nurses the N word. So I gotta, I gotta go see that. Uh, that's, because they're white, that's hilarious. So, uh. <laughs> it's true, your kids will take care of you. That's a good thing to do, that's insurance. I don't have that. If I, uh, if I get old, who's gonna care for me, you know? You, no, you don't, sir. <laughs> As, I don't think you do. <laughs> Famous women do have caretakers when they get older, but they're gay men, okay? That's our only hope. And that didn't sound like one to me. Yeah, I, uh, I do worry about that. I'm like, what if I don't have kids? Like, who's gonna care for me? Not my niece and nephew after that fucking joke I just told, so... I gotta have a plan. Um, and I do have a plan, because I always forget I'm gonna kill myself. I always... Duh. Yeah. I know, but like... I've like, always known I was gonna kill myself. Like, I... Just like, always known. Mm -hmm. 